Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening. So, how's everything, guys? Okay, so give me a second. No. Okay, guys, so how's everything? How are you tonight, guys? I hope you had a good day. So welcome back to another video conference. All right, so I am going to start with the attendance list because we have a lot of topics. Give me a second, a lot of topics to be discussing tonight, guys. So let me see how many of you are connected. Okay, yeah, we got a few of you connected. That's great. <clears throat> Give me one second. Some of you cannot, cannot uh, get connected. All right, good evening, Evelyn. All right, so let's start over, guys. So I'm going to go uh, and pass the attendance list just to start with the class contents. Uh, Adi Beatriz. All right, so Adi is not here. Ana Cristina. <clears throat> Ana Cristina. All right, so she is not here. Uh, Brian Aldair. Present teacher, estaremos oyendo mientras llego a casa porque no he llegado todavía. Ah, okay, no problem, mister. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, Carlos Antonio. Carlos Antonio. All right, so he's not here. Yeah, let me see. Okay, so Carlos Enrique. Mm -hmm. So he's not here yet. Uh, Claudia Marcela. Present. Ah, okay, good. Mm, Doris Alejandra. <clears throat> Present. Okay, excellent. Evelyn Karina. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Graciela Saraí. Present teacher. Okay, good. Guillermo Eduardo. Present. Okay, nice. Uh, Irma del Tránsito. Present teacher. Okay, good. So I guess. Ay, ay, was you the one. That text is present. Jacqueline Yvonne. Present teacher. Okay, good. Juan Carlos Fuentes. Good evening, everybody. Teacher, I am here. Okay, nice. Uh, Katia Maria. Katia, Katia. All right, so she is not connected yet. Kenia Maricela. Kenia. All right, sorry, she is not here. Maritza Elizabeth. Present. Okay, nice. Uh, Marvin Alexander. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Pedro Rigoberto. Mm, al parecer se está conectando ahorita Rosalie Yvonne present ok nice Susana Carolina Susana Susana alright so she is not here yet and the last one 
Teresa Noemi. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Okay, there you go. Okay, guys, so let's start with part of what we were just doing yesterday. So as the previous classes, we are going to start with a short feedback. Okay, so bringing back um, the main topic that we were discussing yesterday. All right, so I ask you guys, everybody, what do you remember from last class? What was the topic that we were discussing yesterday? Mm, well, we saw how negative sentence are format with the use of the preposition for and of. Mm, okay, good. And what was like the main topic? Okay, Juan, so, but... What was the main topic about? Uh, ING after preposition. ING after prepositions. Okay, good. Good. So that was basically the main topic that we were discussing. Okay, yesterday, right? Good. So you were doing a series of example sentences, right? Uh, basically using the structure, all right? So if you guys remember, we were working with a couple of questions that you provided answer to those questions. And uh, at the end, the last activity that we were doing yesterday, it was right um, having a conversation, right? Okay, Katia, welcome to the class. Thank you for letting me know. So that was, okay, part of what we were discussing yesterday, right? During the class time. So if you guys remember, we were just doing a short conversation, but we did not complete a series of exercises, okay, that we were about to start with the uses of the gerund, right? Or ing after the prepositions. I'm gonna share this just for us to keep on what I'm telling you. If you guys remember, we stayed in here, right? So you were discussing the conversation, you were practicing this conversation in pairs, right? And the last part that we were doing before uh, finishing the class, it was the answer for these four questions, right? So basically now what we're going to do, it's like, this is just as a model of feedback. We are going to finish, okay, this activity that is basically related to the topic that we were discussing yesterday, guys. So, so I suggest you guys to open up your manuals on page 14 in order to do this, right? So if you take a look in here, I want you to focus on the exercise five, okay? So this is like the exercise that we are going to be working on, all right? Before moving on to the next topic that we are going to be discussing tonight. It says, Complete the questions below with the appropriate verb form. Then read the information in Rex organizational chart, it says, to answer the questions. Check answers with a partner, it says. Just give me a second, guys. I need to read something. Okay, Susana, no problem. Thank you for letting me know, okay? I will add you to the attendance list. Okay, guys, so we have in here an organizational chart. Tenemos acá una especie de, de, de mapa en el cual, okay, we have the general manager. So basically the general manager is like the one on the top, right? The main boss. Then we have an auditor, 
And then we have quality control inspector, floor manager. Okay, we got financial department, computer department, sales department. And here it has some other depend uh, dependencies, right? Okay, what are we going to do with these guys specifically? All right, check this out how we are going to be working in this exercise. It says, who is responsible for, and now if you see here, you have a verb in parentheses, okay? You have a verb. So what you have to do in here, guys, is to complete, okay, the question using the verb appropriately. And if you remember, guys, if you remember, every verb that you use after a preposition, that verb has to go in ing form. So in this case, I am going to place this in here and I'm going to say this. Who is responsible for, and in this case will be supervising, okay, the machine operators. Who is responsible for supervising the machine operators? Okay, according to this chart that you have here, guys, this one, who is in charge of the machine uh, operators? De acuerdo a este mapa que tenemos acá, ¿quién es el encargado de las máquinas, de la operación de las máquinas? The answer for that one, guys, we're going to write them in here. Who is in charge? Machine operators. Which one? The supervisor. In this case, guys, Tenemos que verlo, ajá, de acuerdo a la forma de distribución de las, por así decirlo, eh, dependencias o jefaturas, ok? So in this case, the machine operator is in here, ok? So basically, the one in charge of the machine operators is the supervisor, supervisor right? So that's the one in charge. So in this case, lo que van a hacer ustedes es escribir acá. the supervisor, you see? And you got the answer over here, all right? So that's what you are going to do, okay? So eso es lo que vamos a estar haciendo. How are we going to do this, guys? I am going to uh, send you to work to the breakout rooms. Les voy a mandar a un breakout room en grupos de tres para que me terminen esto, okay? When we come back in here, we are going to check what you did. But now you have uh, an idea about what and how to do this exercise, okay? So I am going to stop in here with this and I am going to send you to work in there. Let me see. I guess most of you are in your houses already, so you won't have any problem. Okay, give me a second. Okay, good. Let's open up the breakout rooms, guys, and let's finish that exercise. And then when we come back, we're gonna check that out, okay? Let's go, guys. Démosle aceptar, por favor. And try to enter.
Okay. Teacher, no alcancé a unirme. <ríe> Eso estaba viendo acá. Ajá. Yo me sí, sí, sí. Permítame, la voy a mover y luego la voy a enviar de nuevo a ese mismo grupo. Ok. Gracias. Ok. Y me acepto. Es el 4. Voy a enviar al 6. Ok. Ahora sí le apareció. Jacqueline? Do you enter, Jacqueline? Mm. The machine operator. Y bendice al Señor en sus familias, en sus hogares, Señor, asiste en todo este momento. Te pido por nosotros, Señor, por nuestro matrimonio, por nuestros hijos, que tú le guardes, que le cuides, Señor. Tú sabes, Señor, a lo que le llamas a cada uno, Señor, atiéndeles, ten paciencia con cada uno de ellos, te concedes. General Manager. Teacher. Teacher. I was talking to myself. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yo, Graciela. Perdón que estoy cocinando, por eso no tengo encendida la cámara. Ok, no problem. Eh, en este caso, en la última pregunta que dice quién es. No sé, no sé cómo se traduciría eso en español, pero la última pregunta le dice que como que controla toda la operación. Uh -huh. Sería si el manager general o se refiere solo a de operación de producir, operación desde contabilidad, administración, ventas, todo eso. Everything. Todo. Everything. Ah, ok. Yeah, it refers to everything. Okay, thank you. Okay. Sí. Hola, hola, sí, ya, 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 este, yo creo que es el de supervisor. Supervisor. No, porque es asistir, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo asistir? Sí. ¿O será asistir? No, porque el supervisor lo supervisa, pero... ¿Quién es el... Pero es el único que está arriba, o el ingeniero, safe. Engineer, no. engineer, ajá, porque dice asistir a los asambleristas. Bueno, yo creo que quizás es el supervisor porque es el más inmediato. 
Okay, but the, el son the world operation. ¿Cuál es quien encargado de manejar? Dice truck drivers. No, truck drivers. Entonces en la 5 mm -hmm. es supervisor. Pues, te digo. <ríe> Vaya, voy a notar. Veamos. Vaya, no sé. La seis sería... Se termina, Maite, estoy viendo. La última me falta. Usted sigue. Sí. Creo que es responsable de... De vender. Responsable, responsable de... Responsable, ¿qué? Responsable de... De vender, ajá, sí. De vender, ajá. Uh -huh. De sailor, el departamento de venta, de sales, de department, de That's right. Ah, pues sería South. Ajá, te pago. Child's Department. El, el, de, el, el DHE siempre lo llevan, ¿verdad? ¿Manda? Acá esto siempre lo llevan, el de. de South. El Departamento de Ventas, sí. Ajá, uh -huh. ok. Sería Did you guys finish? Brian and Claudia, did you finish? No, teacher, todavía no. Ah, oh, okay. So you finish? Yes. Ah, okay, okay, good, good. So, uh, nice. I need just to check another. La vamos a leer, teacher. Hola. La vamos a leer o. Yeah, eh, pero compartir. en la en la en la sección principal. Ajá. Vamos Ajá. a compartir ahí las respuestas. Yeah. Ah, va. Okay. Okay. Perfecto, necesito revisar si este otro grupo terminó y luego nos vemos a la sección principal, ¿ok? Sí. Sí, porque el asistente, eh, el, asist el asistente no puede estar por encima de, del organigrama. Sí. ¿Verdad? No puede estar por encima. Bueno, vamos a probar. Suerte. Level 
who is who is accountable accountable who is accountable for managing the whole operation managing who is accountable for managing the whole operation aquí como sería con ing Man yeah Managing. K-I-N-G. Así. Uh, supongo ya que sí, no sé qué dicen. ¿Qué dicen? That's right. Juan. Yes. Ok. Sí, porque quiero ver las reglas. Uh, termina en E. Yeah. Okay. Sí, es correcto. Who is accountable for managing uh, the whole operator? King Helen. Voy a este organigrama. No lo the floor manager. Uh, okay, this one. Okay. Yeah. 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 responsable? Who is responsable de for Monday? Operación será el gerente general. <laughs> Is for managing. General manager, no. Yo le había puesto auditor. Vaya. Aquí sí. Es cierto, tiene razón. Ya le puse auditor. ¿Cuál, cuál es entonces? Sí, creo que es el floor manager. manager. Mm. All right, do you finish? Okay, good. Yeah, I mean, I think we can go to the main section. Entonces, creo que bueno, podemos ir a la sección principal, ok? Les veo ahí. Ok. Ahí. All right, guys, so now that you're coming, I'm just going to share the organizational chart. And let's check what you have, okay? Give me a second. Oops. Okay, yeah, I mean, I think. Okay, good. Let's start over with the first one and so on, guys. So just to check what you have. So in here, it used to say who is responsible for, and in here it was supervising, right? Uh, the machine operators. And, yeah, and everybody agreed that it was the supervisor, right? Okay, now what about the number two? Marvin, can you please help me out reading the question? Okay, who is charged of checking the quality of the product? Ah, okay, so in this case, you got the bird as Checking, right? Like this. Okay, very good. So in this case, guys, 
Who is in charge of checking the quality of the products? Respondo también. All right, ya sea usted o quien, o quien la tenga. Ajá. Who is in charge? My. Nosotros le pusimos the quality control inspector. Quality control inspector. Actually, yeah, I mean, that's what it is. Quality control inspector. Yeah, I mean, that's what it is. All right, so you got it here. Okay, very good. Thank you, Marvin. So now uh, the next one. Mm -hmm. Rosalie, help me out reading number three. Who is re responsible for repairing the problems of the machines? Of the machines, okay. So in here, so in here you got repairing, right? Like this. Repairing. Ah, okay, good. Who is responsible for repairing the problems of the machines? So in this case, who is the responsible? Um, maintenance personnel. The maintenance personnel? Who is responsible for repairing the problems of the machines? Exactly. The maintenance right, personnel. Okay. So that's the one. Okay, thank you, Miss. Now, uh, Guillermo, help me out reading Guillermo, the next one. Um, who is accountable for selling the product? Selling, it says, right? Okay, who is accountable for selling the products? Okay, who is accountable for selling the products, guys? The sales department. Exactly. The sales department, right? That's what it is. Okay. Very nice. All right, guys. A number five. Uh Juan. Uh, who is in charge of assisting the assemblers? The assemblers, okay, assisting. Who is in charge of assisting the assemblers? Okay, who is in charge? Uh, truck drivers. The, the assemblers? Truck drivers. Do you think truck drivers? Who is in charge of assisting the assemblers? ¿Quién es el encargado de ayudar o asistir a los ensambladores? Mm. In this case, they are not the truck drivers one. The machine operator. Machine operators? Assistir. The truck drivers? Ah, it's divided the question. Ahí están divididas las respuestas. Vamos a ver. Okay, who thinks that is the machine operators, guys? And who thinks the truck drivers? Take a look at the chart, guys. Who is in charge? ¿Quién está a cargo de asistir? All right, a los ensambladores. Floor manager. Hmm? Assemblers, it's like in that pair, right? So who's in charge of assembly, uh, of assisting? The machine operators or the truck drivers? The machine operator. The machine operators? Why? I like 
Okay. Because this is a pair the machine. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> because yeah. they, they are the ones who operate the machines. <laughs> okay. Six. Yeah, and in that case, it's like the machine operators. Machine operators. Operators, right? Good. Now, the last one. Let me see who else can help me up. <laughs> Let me see. Doris, do you participate in the activity? Doris, are you there? Uh, with? Yeah, can you help me at reading number six? Okay. Who is accountable for managing the wall operation? All right, so who is accountable for managing, right? Yes. Ah, okay. Who is accountable for managing the whole operator or operation in this case? Okay, who is accountable, guys, for managing the whole operation? The general manager. Exactly. That's the one, right? The general manager. Es el encargado del funcionamiento de todo, right? Very good, guys. So basically, that was the last activity that we were missing related to this type of okay topic now i'm going to stop sharing this because now we are going to start discussing the topic that we are going to be all right uh give me a second showing up to you guys throughout the rest of the class so i'm gonna share this give me a second yeah, this is the one. Okay, good. So I got it in here. So this is like the topic that now, guys, we are going to be discussing. And it says, the passive voice. Have you, have you guys ever heard about this topic before? ¿Alguna vez han escuchado hablar de este tema antes? The passive voice. Yes or no, or maybe, yes. and you don't remember. Yes, but I don't remember, teacher. Ah, okay, good. So I think Jacqueline says yes. Hmm. Okay. Ya no saber qué recordamos. Okay, good, guys, let's continue. All right, so what's the most relevant that we got in the class agenda? Okay, we got the review from the previous class. Algo que acabamos de hacer. Repaso de la clase anterior, right? El tema. Now we're going to start with the passive voice introduction. After that, you guys are going to create a couple of examples, right? After creating the examples, then we're going to practice the conversation, all right? And at the end, we're going to do some exercises that are in the manual. So this is pretty much what we have for the rest of the class, okay? So let's start with this, guys. Passive boys. Check this out. Jacqueline, help me read. Um, yes. What's uh, voice say? Possible voices to emplace that emphasize are emphasize. more important than the doors. So, do doors do doors doors to help. doors 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 is like similar to subject, it's the person or people who do the action, right. So basically, guys, uh, we use the passive voice when we want to emphasize, listen, 
when we want to emphasize most emphasize. The action and not the person who makes the action, okay? Is when we emphasize the action that is happening or that happened in the past, right? So take a look at this chair uh, of examples. So we got one example over here. So um, Katia, help me reading the example. Rex is recognized. Recognize. Recognize. Recognize, I'm sorry. Yeah. As a prestigious company. Ah, okay, very good. Rex is recognized as a prestigious company. Okay, very good. So we are going to be discussing about the structure so that way you will understand a little bit better. Now, uh, Evelyn, help me read in the next one. Rex is rated as one of the, the most prestigious companies okay prestigious companies right okay very good thank you so check this out before moving on with the next one um in this case guys something that you got to know and you have to keep in mind is like when you you uh when you create or when you use passive voice you always use the verb to be, right? Algo que tiene esta estructura es que siempre, siempre vamos a utilizar el verbo to be, ¿ok? ¿Qué me hacen, guys? Brian, 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 Brian. Ok, so Brian left. Ok. There you go. So let's continue. Remember that. Recuerden, siempre vamos a usar el verbo to be en sus formas en presente simple. Ok. Lo vamos a ver nada más en esta estructura del presente simple. Recuerden que las formas del verbo to be en presente simple son tres. Am, is, and are. Ok. So. Let's take a look at the structure. So this way we are going to understand better. All right, so let's continue. Check this out, guys. So in here, Basically, we got something. Listen. Para diferenciar estas estructuras, tenemos dos formas. La primera forma es como nosotros hablamos. A esto se le conoce como active voice o voz activa. Ok. For example, in an active voice, nosotros tenemos un subject. Ok. Tenemos un subject. Tenemos verb. And we have an object or complement, right? For example, cats eat mice. All right? Cats eat mice. Los gatos comen ratones. Okay? Mice significa ratones. Okay. So that is the way how we generally speak, right, o communicate. Es la forma como comúnmente nosotros nos comunicamos, right, using an active voice. All right, so now, give me one second. One second, guys. Okay, Brian, no problem, you can get disconnected, okay? No, no hay problema, Brian, se puede desconectar, right? Luego me comunico con usted. Bueno, ok. Bueno, so, muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Okay, sir. No problem. Teacher. Yes. No sé si solo soy yo, pero este, no sé, escucho como, como que se corta su voz 
y en algunas palabras la pronunciación casi no se entiende. Is it, is it only her or everybody are showing up the same thing? Todos están presenciando lo mismo. Porque si es así. Eh, a veces. En ocasiones me pasa lo mismo. Casi ok. No All right, guys. Pero háganmelo saber antes, guys. No me dejen hablar solito. El Y ustedes así el como tiempo que, de respuesta es lento. Ustedes así como que, ¿qué está diciendo? All right, dígame en el momento. Pensé para... que eso sí, era yo porque tengo el internet lento también. <risa> ok, pues well, let me know, ok. When, that, when that's happening, let me know. Hey, teacher, no la escuchamos. O no, no se escucha muy bien. O whatever, right. Para, para volverlo a repetir porque si no yo empiezo a hablar como carreta en bajada y pues... No, verdad. La idea es que entendamos. <laughs> okay. Now, check this out, guys. As I was saying, como lo estaba mencionando antes, generally the active voice is the way how we commonly speak, right? Es la forma en como comúnmente nosotros hablamos. But now, acá, ¿en quién nos enfocamos? En un active voice nos enfocamos en quién hace la acción. En este, en este caso, si yo digo cats eat mice, ah, los gatos comen ratones. Ok, nos enfocamos en quién hace la acción, que en este caso son los gatos, right? That's the subject. Now, in a passive voice, it's completely different, guys. En una passive voice, es diferente, porque ya no prestamos mucha atención en sí al subject, ok, sino que a la acción, ok, que recae en el object, que pasa a ser el subject, check this out, in a passive voice we say, mice are eaten by cats, agregamos también esta palabra, all right, by, cuando mencionamos en sí, aquí se le conoce como object o agent, agente, ok, quien es quien hace la acción, so in this case, incluimos el verbo to be y ahora el verbo principal que teníamos en simple present anteriormente, all right, pasa a ser este verbo eat pasa prácticamente. Give me one second. I need to show you this. Este verbo eat que yo tengo en simple present acá pasa acá. Pero ha pasado participio, la tercera forma del verbo, ¿ok? Ahora bien, va a costar un poquito tal vez para algunos de ustedes este tema por el asunto de los verbos, right? Porque sí necesitamos tener conocimiento de la tercera forma de los verbos, más que todo, right? Y con los que hay un poquito más de problema, considero, son los verbos irregulares, puesto que cambian en sus tres formas. Right, in algunos casos. So in this case, mice are eaten by cats. Los ratones son comidos. Esa es la forma en cómo se traduce eaten. Comidos por los gatos. So in this case, guys, esta va a ser la única forma en la que vamos a estar eh, trabajando con el uso del presente simple en el active voice para así trabajar en la passive voice también de forma all right, con el verbo to be en presente para no confundirlos demasiado. Ok, pero acá lo que necesito que entiendan es que nos enfocamos más en la acción y no en quién hace la acción. Ok, no quién la hace, sino más que todo la acción. All right, so I'm going to show you guys a couple of more examples, extra examples for you to understand better. Check this out. I'm going to eliminate this so we can look at it. All right. So check this out. Rosalie, help me out reading this one, please. The car is repaired, repaired by the mechanic. 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 Okay. The mechanic. There you go. Thank you, Rosalie. The car is repaired by the mechanic. El carro es reparado por el mecánico. Entonces acá, ¿en qué básicamente nos enfocamos más? 
Ah, si pueden observar, nos enfocamos más en la acción y no en quien la hace, más que todo, sino en la acción, right? So in this case, the, the person in charge is the mechanic. En una active voice, yo puedo decir así. The mechanic repairs the car. Esta sería la oración en una active voice. The mechanic repairs the car. Entonces, si ven acá, en una active voice es bastante sencillo. The mechanic es el sujeto, the subject. Repairs es el verbo en presente. The car es el complemento, right? Pero acá nos enfocamos más que todo en qué? Nos enfocamos más que todo en la acción. Recuerden eso, ¿ok? The car is repaired by the mechanic. So, el carro es reparado. So, in this case, ya es la acción la que cuenta. Right? So, take a look at this other example. Claudia, help me out reading, please. Cars are driven by employees. Ah, okay, good. It says cars are driven, driven, driven. Verb. okay, yeah, by employees, right? Employees. Ah, so, Carros son conducidos, right, por los empleados. All right. Entonces acá la acción es la que se enfatiza más, right. ¿Quién hace la acción? Los empleados. Pero si ven, ok, entonces acá lo que importa más es esto. All right. La acción dentro de la oración. Cars are driven by employees, right. Entonces, esta oración en una active voice, ¿cómo sería? A. Ah. Employees. Eh, employees driving the cars. En este caso, drive. Drive. Sí. Oh, drive. Drive. Ok. The, car. the cars. Like this. All right. Ah, los empleados conducen los carros. So you see. Acá en la active voice prestamos más atención en quien hace la acción, no en la acción, right? But in the passive voice, it's mostly the action. So take a look at this uh, extra example, right? Uh, let me see who can help me out with reading. Graciela, can you help me out reading, please? Graciela, are you there? Okay, I think she's busy. Cristina, are you there, Cristina? Cristina, are you there? Okay, apparently she is not there. Who else? Doris? Are you there? The payment is sent to employers. Okay, the payment is sent to employers. Okay, thank you, Doris. So in this case, guys, what it really matters is the action, right? And what is the action? This one. This one is the action. The payment is sent to employers, right? El pago es enviado a los empleados. Okay. Good. So in this case, guys, this is mostly focusing on the action. Do we have another example here? Yeah, I got another one over here. So Rosalie, help me out reading this one, please. The company is recognized as uh, the recognize, best one. Recognized. Recognized as the best one. Okay, very good. The company is recognized as the best one, all right? La compañía o la empresa es reconocida como la mejor, ¿ok? Si se fijan, all right, algo que necesito que pongan atención es que si la acción, guys, listen, si la acción 
es en singular, aquí, esta parte acá, si ven, acá nos referimos the company. Acá es singular. We talk about only one, right? So, por eso acá tenemos is. Si acá, en vez de the company, tenemos the companies in plural. So, in here, it's no is, guys. ¿Cuál sería entonces? Are. 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 Exactly. Are. Very good. The payment is. So in here, because the word payment is singular, so that's why you got is over there. But if you take a look in here, cars are driven. So in this case, we got are because the word cars is in plural, okay? So that's why I want you to focus on that, all right? So I don't know if I got another one. Yeah, we got the last one over here. So check this one out. Marvin, help me a reading, please. Uh, pupusas are made by my mother. Okay, very good. So you see, pupusas are made by my mother. Marvin, what will be the active voice for this sentence? Uh, ¿Cómo Recuerde que la active voice eh, nos enfocamos más en el sujeto, en quien hace la acción. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo sería entonces? My mother are made pupusas. Ok. Algo que quiero que identifique es que en el active voice no usamos el verbo to be. Solo to be, uh, en yes. el passive voice. Ok. Only in uh -huh. passive voice. All right. My, so so yeah, case, my mother may. My mother may. Pupusas. My mother may. Made or make? Marvin? Made or may. make? May. May. Like Con S. Ah, okay. My mother makes pupusas. Exactly. And we got it like this. Y aquí ya tenemos la oración en active voice. Okay? So you see, guys, this is the way how you create active and passive voice. Okay? Y esta es la forma entonces como nosotros creamos oraciones. Okay? The active a passive voice and vice versa. All right, good. Do you guys have any question related to this? Alguna duda, alguna pregunta hasta acá? It's a, it's a, it's a little complicated. It's a little bit complicated, because, yes. Because the verse. At the beginning, but in here, as I said, what you really need to focus on is mostly, guys, it's mostly on the verb and the action. Pay attention to the action, okay? That's all you need to know about these guys, okay? For example, uh, I don't know if you're copying those examples, guys. No sé si están copiando esos ejemplos. Yes, true. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, good. No, we're going to make a couple of examples. Uh, I need you to copy those ones, porque si no tenemos preguntas, les voy a poner un pequeño ejercicio para que vayamos entrando ya en, 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 en esta estructura, right? I need we to focus on this. Copy that. When you finish, let me know, please. Cuando terminen de copiar, me lo hacen saber porque les voy a poner una pequeña oración que me van a transformar. So that's the way how we're going to get to know how to create passive voice statements.
All right, you finished, guys? Finished. Finished. Okay, perfect. Cool. I'm gonna clear all this and I need to move on with this. Okay, so check this out, guys. Remember, guys, if the sentence is in simple present, simple, oops, simple present statement. All right. For example, in a simple present statement, remember, you have a subject plus verb, right? Plus verb plus complement. Mm -hmm. For example, you can say uh, a driver, check this out, a driver, uh, what? Let's say hit a, a pedestrian, all right? Do you know what is that? A driver hit a pedestrian. A driver mm -hmm. is the subject. Hit is the verb. A pedestrian is the complement. Do you know, guys, what is a pedestrian? Pedestrian means peatón. O sea, las personas que transitan, right? Uh, on the street. That's a pedestrian. Peatón. All right, I'm putting very technical words for you guys, so you might increase your vocabulary. So, a driver hit a pedestrian. Ah, uh, un conductor, okay, o el conductor le pega a un peatón, ese. okay? So, in this case, this is an active voice, okay? Acá esta oración está en voz activa, right? Now, in passive voice, passive voice, Structure. Check this out. Cuando usamos el presente simple en una active voice, acá simple present statement, lo vamos a poner active. Y acá passive voice structure in simple present. Ok. ¿Qué necesitamos? Recuerden esto, guys. ¿Qué necesitamos para crear una passive voice a structure? In simple present. All right. In that case, mm -hmm. what you need is like action. Yeah. Vamos a ponerlo así. The subject. Mm -hmm. Se los voy a poner más sencillo. Los voy a poner acá. Object plus. Check this out. B plus verb. In past participle plus, in this case, agent. Vamos a poner by plus agent. Así. El agent es quien hace la acción. Ok. El agent. Ahora bien, ¿por qué les pongo object acá? Porque acá el complement a lo que llamamos complemento acá. Este sería como el object, ¿ok? Y este object de acá pasa a primera, a primera plana en la oración en passive voice, ¿ok? Luego, cuando ya tenemos el object, when you have the object, you use the verb to be. And remember, the verb to be will depend on if the object is singular or plural. If it is singular, you use is. If it is plural, 
you use are. And then you need the verb in past participle. Necesitamos luego el verbo en pasado participio. And then, si queremos mencionar quién hizo la acción, vamos a poner by y luego, all right, el nombre de quién hizo la acción. For example, si yo aquí digo, a driver hit a pedestrian, so hit no cambia en pasado participio, es el mismo, ¿ok? No cambia su estructura. Entonces yo digo, si el object de la pass, de la active voice, la tengo que poner de primero en la passive voice, ¿qué iría acá? A pedestrian. A pedestrian. Exactly. A pedestrian. Ok. Now, is that singular or plural? Singular. Ok. So, what is the form sí. of the verb to be? Is. Exactly. Ok. A pedestrian is. Now, the verb. In past participle. Is. Is. Hit. Ok. Como no cambia, lo ponemos lo mismo. A pedestrian is hit. Y ahora, by. si queremos colocar by el, by. el quién lo hizo, el agent, ajá, by, by. A, a driver. driver, a driver, and you got the example over here, you see, a pedestrian is hit by a driver, right, so you got the structure over there, right, any question with this, guys, ahora bien, tenemos alguna pregunta? Any question related to this structure? Teacher. Yes. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, una, forma, una forma de identificar más rápido el verbo en pasado participio son los que terminan en do, ¿verdad? En traducción, sí. En In In Spanish. Yes. En Spanish, la forma del pasado participio se puede traducir como ado, edo, ido. Ado, edo, ido. Exactly. Those are like the ways. Right? Si decimos used, de usar. Used, usado. All right? Yeah. Okay. Y ahí se arma el verbo, ¿verdad? Exactly. So in this case, guys, les voy a poner un ejemplo. All right? And I need that example you to be made. And I'm going to give you the verb. Okay, the verb is use. El verbo es use. En simple present. En past participle, este verbo es regular. Es used. Okay? Se los doy para que ustedes ya les haga más fácil el poder hacer la oración. Okay? The sentence will be in active voice. All right? Check this out. Employees... Use uh, cell phones. Okay. Employees use cell phones. Hágame esa oración en passive voice, please. Transformenme esa oración en una passive voice. Following the structure. The cell phones are... The cell phones are used for employees or by employees. Okay, yes, in that case. No for, tiene que ser by, okay? Very good. So in this case, guys, si lo tienen así, está correcto. All right, cell phones are... Okay, used by employees. employees. And you got it like this. Very good. So if you got it like this, so it means you are correct. Okay. This is the passive voice form. Good. Let's copy that, guys. Copiamos eso, por favor. When you finish, let me know because we are going to do a short activity with that. Finish. Okay, perfect. Ah, por cierto, guys. Antes que se me olvide, give me one second. Les voy a enviar una lista de verbos 
que son con lo, los verbos que tenemos mayor dificultades, los verbos irregulares. ¿Ok? Les voy a enviar un PDF con esa lista de verbos para que a ustedes se les haga más sencillo identificar, ¿ok? El pasado participio de los verbos que tenemos, que, que pueden generar mayor dificultad para nosotros, ¿ok? Los verbos regulares, por lo general, solo se desagrega ed al pasado y pasado participio, pero los irregulares cambian completamente. All right. So, give me one second. I got a lot of, a, a lot of these things. Add it in here. So while you copy that, I'm going to look at it. I think it's this one. Oh yeah, this is the one. And fine. Through what's up? All right, guys. Esa lista que les acabo de enviar al grupo de WhatsApp es la lista de verbos irregulares un poco más completa que he podido encontrar hasta ahora. Lo interesante de esa lista de verbos, all right, si, si le pueden revisar, es que aparte de traer a un la par en rojo, ok, esa parte es la pronunciación del de verbo. ¿Ok? Trae las tres formas, la forma base o el simple present, simple past, right? También cómo se pronuncia, lo trae ahí, y el past participle, que es el que necesitamos para esta estructura. Y al final trae la traducción, right? Esos son como los, los principales irregulares, right? So that's for you to have it there. Ok, very thankful. Ah, very thankful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Try to study those verbs, guys. Traten de estudiar un poco esos verbos. Créanme, si realmente quieren aprender inglés, all right, eso es fundamental. Porque son los verbos que nos dan mayor problema. All right. So that's as, as a suggestion, okay? Para que más a futuro, pues no tengan tanto problemas eh, en cuanto a las estructuras. All right, good. So I'm going to stop sharing this part and let's continue. So take a look at this. I got some verbs in here, guys, just for you to help me out with a couple of examples. Check this out. Change, change. Yeah, that's one. Ok, good. Listen up, guys. Quiero que me escojan un verbo de esos cuatro que tienen ahí. Ok. Quiero que me hagan una oración en active voice. Una oración en active voice donde el sujeto tenga la relevancia. Y luego esa oración me la transformen a passive voice. Ok. Solo escojan un verbo. From those ones. De esos cuatro. One. Háganme una oración en active. Y luego esa oración en active, pásenmela a passive voice, ¿ok? All right, if you have any question with that, please let me know. Let's try to do it that way, guys.
If you have any question, remember, let me know, please. Si tienen preguntas, háganmelo saber. Remember guys, if you have questions, let me know. And if you finish, let me know as well, please. Teacher, una pregunta. Yes. Este, vamos a escoger una, un verbo. Y este verbo, vamos a formar una oración. Exactly, eh, an active voice. En simple present y en passive voice. Exactly. Luego en esta opción la va a transformar en passive voice. Ajá. Ok. Finish, teacher. Ok, perfecto, Rosalie. Finish, teacher. Ok, very good. So let's wait for the other ones just to start uh, reading your sentences, guys. Finish teacher. Okay, perfect. Finish teacher. Okay, very good. Finish teacher. Excellent. Okay, I think most of you have already finished. Creo que a la mayoría terminado. All right, let's just start over. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Who was the first one who says it finished? Da, da, da. Okay. ¿Quién quiere ser el primer voluntario en leerme la oración? <laughs> Now nobody wants to participate. Come on, guys. ¿Quién quiere ser el primero? Who says Teacher. to me? Okay, thank you, Rosalie. All right, let's read the active and then the passive voice example. The technician repairs the computer. Uh -huh. The computer is repaired by the technician. Okay, excellent, Rosalie. Good examples. Thank you. All right, guys, who's next? Yo no sé si está bien, teacher. No problem, but read them. Uh, the bar barkering makes bright every time. 
Ah, the bakery yeah. makes bread every time. Every? Every day. Every day, okay. Uh, the, the bakery made bread yesterday. <laughs> the passive voice is, is not correct. <laughs> La oración en active voice está correcta. All right? The bakery makes bread. <clears throat> Madre. Permítame. I'm going to write them down in here. Si no me equivoco, en, en la active voice lo tiene así. Like this? Eh, sí, every day. Okay, good. Now, in the passive voice, remember, tenemos que colocar the object sobre quien, sobre quien recae la acción, ¿ok? Tiene que ser el principio de la oración, Jacqueline. ¿Ok? Entonces, en este caso... Este sería... Brain. Bread. 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 That is singular or plural, Jacqueline? Uh, singular. Singular. Okay, good. If it is singular, what is the form of the verb to be that you are going to use? Is or are? Uh, are. With singular? Is. <laughs> ah, is. Okay. Bread is. Now we need the verb in past participle. Sería mad. Made. Made. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the one. All right. Oops. Made. Uh huh. They. Bye. Bye, Kerry. Bye. You see? And you got it like this. Oh, All right. Yeah. Bread is made by the bakery every day. All right. Y ahora sí ya tiene la oración de manera adecuada en Tassy Voice, Jacqueline. Okay. Cuando dice objeto, se refiere la acción. Exactly. A quien recae la acción. En quien recae la acción. Right. Así es que eso no lo había entendido cuando decía objeto, pero no. Ah, ok. Es uh -huh. eh, el, el que se menciona en la active voice, es el que se menciona después del verbo, ok? Ah, Sobre okay. quien recae la acción, right? Thank you. Ok, good. Supongamos es como que le pongo un ejemplo. Mm, Graciela sería el subject. Graciela punch, right? Punches, uh, what? Guillermo. Ok, so Graciela punches Guillermo. Ah, Graciela le pega a Guillermo. Guillermo, all right, como es el que va después del, del verbo, sería el object, quien recibe la acción, en este caso, el golpe, right? So, en la passive voice, ¿cómo sería Guillermo? Um... No, I don't know, teacher. All right. Easy, Guillermo. Listen. Graciela punches Guillermo. So, in that case, Guillermo is... Guillermo is punched uh -huh. by Graciela. Exactly. Exactly. Right? All right. Entonces, ya el object, que en este caso es Guillermo, pasa a ser el subject en la active voice. I mean, en la passive voice, right? Very good, thank you, Claudia. So in that case, this is like the way how your example uh, is, Jacqueline, okay? Now, let me see. Ya creo que ahora sí la mayoría terminó. So Claudia, can you please read uh, your examples? Okay, I don't know if um, okay. No problem. Um, the waiter changed my order. Ah, okay. The waiter changed my order. Uh huh. Um, uh, my order is changed by the waiter. I don't know. My order is changed 
with ed right changed it changed by the waiter exactly all right very good so thank you claudia that's okay now um who's next evelyn No sé si está correcto, pero si no, me ayuda. Yes, no problem. Eh, she repairs cell phone at home. En passive. Eh, sería at home. She repairs cell phone. Ok, listen. You got it. She repairs a cell phone at home, right? Yes. Ok, so in that case, you will, you will start. A cell phone, a cell phone, okay, uh -huh. is repaired at home. Okay, at home. Exactly. Okay. That's the way how that passive voice structure will be, okay? okay. Very good. Thank you, Evelyn. Now, uh, Katia. Read yours. Okay. Uh, change on my life. And possible is my life is uh, changed by me. I don't know. Okay. All right. What was the active voice? Uh, change. Change. Uh, my life. Okay. I'm gonna write it down. I'm gonna write it down. So. I change my life. Ah, I guess. change. Ah, change. Um, um, like, like this? No. Like this? A change? A. Uh -huh. A change? Am um, I like? Like this? Am my like? Uh, like this? Uh, um, no. A in the word E. Ah, perdón, en lugar de in. ¿Like this? Okay. Uh, uh, sí, debo, suponer, ¿Debo suponer que me quiso poner un cambio en mi vida? Algo así. Mm -hmm. Listen. La okay. intención es buena, pero el verbo acá, <risa> el verbo acá ya no es, ya no es verbo. <risa> A veces ah. es un poco freaky esto. Yes. Ya no es sí. un verbo, sino que ese change se convierte en un nombre. Un, nombre. un cambio. Ya no es cambiar, sino que un cambio. Sí. Right? A change. That's different. Entonces acá ya no podría aplicar, Katia. ¿Ok? Entonces, okay. en este caso, podemos modificarla un poco. All right? Y si usted dice, miren, I change my life. Here is different. Yo cambio mi vida. All right, so in that case, it's different, right? Okay. Aquí sí ya estamos usando el, este, este como un verbo. Change como un verbo, okay? I change my life. Vaya, Katia, ¿cómo sería en passive voice? Si tuviésemos ese. Uh, my life. Ajá, uh -huh. my is life. Change Changed. Yes. Changed. Changed. Mm -hmm. Yes. Aquí ah. ya no es necesario. Ah. Listen. Ya no es necesario poner el agent. Quien hace la acción. ¿Sabe por qué? Porque usted ya lo está, ya se, ya lo está diciendo acá. Cuando dice my. Está refiriendo a usted solita. All right. So, entonces ya ahí ya no, ya no hace falta colocar el by me. Right. Because okay. you have a. Uh, you are included in here, all right? Le salió bien corto, all right? That's cool. <laughs> okay, copy that, Katia, all right? Copy lo eso. Okay, so... Okay, thank see. you. Well, okay, no problem. 
Marvin, you ready, mister? Yes. Yes. Uh, the technician repay, repay the lactone. Uh -huh. The lactone is prepared by the technician. Okay, very good. Thank you, Marvin. So that's correct. Mm -hmm. Graciela, did you participate already? Yes. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you. Maritza. Teacher, una consulta, disculpe que no le, pucho, no le, no le escuché bien. ¿Qué fue lo que me preguntó? Que si había participado. Ah, no. Ok. Léamelo ahorita y luego Maritza, ok? Ok. The TV channel mm -hmm. change. No, espera, espera, espera. Primero el active y después el passive, ¿verdad? Yes. Ah, ok. I change the TV channels. Ah, ok. And the passive, the TV channel is changed by me. Ah, ok. Very good. Yeah, I mean, that's correct. Thank you, Graciela. Thank you. Now, Maritza. A human resource recognize the best employee. Ah, okay. The best employee is recognized, 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 recognized by human resource. Excellent. Okay, very good, Marisa. Thank you. Now, who's next? Who's next? Let me see. Marvin ya participó. Guillermo, did you participate already? No, teacher. Okay, good. Let's read it. Uh, the verb is make. Okay. A soccer player make a mistake in the game. Aha. Uh -huh. And the passive voice is uh, mistake is made by the soccer player. A mistake is made by the soccer player. Okay, very good. Thank you, Guillermo. That was a good example. Uh, who else? ¿Quién más falta? Please, turn on your microphone and read it for me, please. ¿Quién falte, por favor, encienda el micrófono y me lea la oración? The mechanics repair the plane. The play is repeated by a mechanic. Okay, good, good. Thank you, Juan. Somebody else? Alguien más? Nobody else? Okay. <laughs> okay, good. So now let's continue, guys. Bueno, si ya no tenemos nadie más que nos vamos a participar. So I'm going to stop sharing this, guys. Voy a dejar de compartir acá y nos vamos a la página. Let's go to page 15. Página 15 de su manual. All right. Page 15. That's one, guys. Over here. And what can you see in here? So, well, in here we have a short conversation, guys. All right. En donde la estructura, okay, de la passive voice está aplicada. All right. So it says, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. So this conversation is between Daniel and Jessica. Okay. So let's start with this. So Jessica, what does your company do? So Jessica. What does your company do? It says, Jessica, at Rex, we produce, listen, at Rex, we produce clothes for kids. Clothes for kids. <clears throat> Daniel says, 
I see. I see. And uh, what is Rex? And what is Rex known for? Known for. <laughs> it says Jessica. Rex is known for. Listen. Rex is known for the modern the modern designs the modern designs and the quality and the quality of the clothes we make and the quality of the clothes we make right so daniel says great Great. And are you happy? Are you happy to work for Rex? Are you happy to work for Rex? Jessica says, absolutely. Absolutely. Rex is recognized. Listen, Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. As a very prestigious company. Their personnel, their personnel is important for them. Is important for them. And Daniel says, Congratulations, Jessica. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. You're right. Rex is rated. Rex is rated as one of the ten. Is rated as one of the ten most prestigious, most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Companies in El Salvador. All right, from here, guys, do you have any question with this short vocabulary from the conversation? ¿Tenemos alguna pregunta con relación al vocabulario de esta conversación? What is rated? Rated, rated, rated. no recuerdo cómo. Ok, uh -huh. so in that case, you are right, rates is rated. Es categorizada o catalogada. That is rated. Any other word, guys? ¿Alguna otra palabra? That you might have issues with pronunciation or something like that. ¿Cómo se pronuncia, teacher? Recognize. Así okay. Es por... Recognize. Recognize. Okay. All right. Recognize. Okay. Yeah, that's what it is recognized good so any other word guys that you might have problems with alguna otra palabra con la que tengamos algún mistake o oh, doubt no perfect vamos a ir a, a practicar esta pequeña conversación por unos dos minutos luego volvemos guys porque necesito escucharlos ok good so, who's active right now? So, Irma del Tránsito está como oyente, Teresa lo mismo, Ana Cristina, can you participate? Cristina? Ok, creo que ella no puede participar. Susana Carolina, uh, ¿usted no podría participar?
se nos durmieron. Ok, good. Uh, let me see. Doris, you can participate. Doris, ¿puede participar? I'm just like... Ah, ok, Cristina, no problem. Thank you for letting me know, ok. Gracias por avisar. Uh, ok, good. So, Rosalí, yeah, you can write. Usted sí puede, Rosalí. Yes, teacher, pero tú no puedes encender la cámara. Ok. <laughs> yeah. estoy pero sí estoy aquí. Ok, good. Eso quería escuchar. Let me see. Claudia. Tengo Claudia, Marcela. Ok, good. Evelyn, Evelyn. Ta, 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 ta. Give me one second, guys. I'm just creating the, the pairs so you can go to practice, okay? Okay, good. Let's open up the breakout rooms, guys, and let's go to practice those uh, that conversation, okay? We're going to do it for two minutes and then we're going to come back in here. Maritza, you're not included in here, right? Yes. Give me a second. Graciela, you there? So Graciela, it's not my there. Okay, Maritza, démele aceptar ahí, por favor. Deme un segundo. There you go. Okay. I see. And what is Rex now for? Rex is known for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is recon recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personnel is in important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You are right. Rex is a rated as one of the 10 most the prestigious companies in El Salvador. Nice, nice. <laughs> Very good, guys. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> For them. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. Red is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Ahora comienzo yo. Okay. So, Jessica, what does your company do? Address with produce clouds for kids. I see. And what is Rex now for? Rex 
is known for the modern testing and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is reckoning. Recognize. Okay, recognize as a very prestigious, prestigious company. Their personal is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. Red is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Okay. Uh, so, Jessica, what does your company do? Esta Graciela también. Okay. Oigo usted. At Trek, we produce clothes for kids. Ah, hay alguien más, no me. I see and what is res no for? Res, I I know for to model this design, croc. Design. Design. Design anti antiquity antiquity house to close we made. Uh, great. And are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Res I is recon. Absolutely. Absolutely. Res is recognized. Recognize. Recognize as very prestigious company. Their personal is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Hoy haga usted Jessica, Daniel y yo Jessica. <risa> no sé qué. Cristina no sé si está. Bueno. ¿Eh? Cristina no, no quitó no. el mío. Ah, Ana. No, Ana. Ana, no. Cristina. Ajá. Ana, bueno. Cristina no, no lo quitó. So, Jessica, what do you. What... No hay. Recognize. 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 Yes. Recognize. Recognize. Uh -huh. Recognize. Okay. No me trabe. okay. <laughs> Listen. Recognize. 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 That's correct. Recognize. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Nice, nice. Bye. Este. Hoy empiezo yo otra vez. Sí. <laughs> Bye. Eh, so, so, Jessica, what does your company do? At Rex, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is Rex no for? Rex is known for the more modern design and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. Hello, guys. Do you finish? Yes, teacher. Teacher. Okay, good, good. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of time. Give me a second. Nice. Let's go then. All right. Nos vemos ahí entonces. Necesito escucharlos. With that energy. That. Let's see you there, guys. Nos vemos allá. All right, people, so we're going to wait for your classmates.
I don't know why they take so long to 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 get joined to the <laughs> to the main section. Ah, here they are coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to share the manual. Give me a second. Okay, here it is. Okay, guys, who wants to be the first pair? Who quiere ser el primero, la primer parejita? Yo diga, me, teacher, I want to be the first one. I want to break out the ice and everything. Me, teacher. Okay, cool, Rosalie. Who you were working with? With Marvin. Ah, okay, with Marvin. Right after you and uh, Marvin, Guillermo is going to, to continue, okay? Good. So, let's start, guys. So, Jessica, what does your company do? At Rex, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is Rex known for? Rex is known for the modern design and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex, Rex is re recognized as a very pre prestigious com company. Their personnel is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. Red is right. Has, has one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, Rosalie and Marvin. Good job. Now, Guillermo, who were you practicing with? Ah, with Katia. Mm -hmm. Katia. Yes. Okay, cool. Let's go. So, Jessica, what does your company do? Address the produce closet for kids. I see. And what is Rex known for? Rex is known for the modern designs and the quality of the closet that we make. Great. And are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their person is important for them. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Jessica. You are right. And uh, Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Okay, very good. Thank you, Guillermo and Katia. You did it excellent. Now, Doris, you're raising your hand. I guess you want to participate. <laughs> Who were okay. you working with? Okay. <laughs> you work with Marcela. Marcela. Okay, good. Claudia Marcela. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. Jessica, what does your company do? At Rex, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is Red now for? Rex is known for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is recognized as very prestigious company. Uh, their personnel is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. Mm -hmm. You are right. Rex is rate as one of than most the prestigious companies in El Salvador. Okay, very good. So you were three, right? Or only two? Only two. Only two. Oh, only okay. Two. So you were three. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you, Doris. Alejandra and Claudia Marcela. Good. Who wants to be next, guys? Juan. I know who wants, wants to participate. Okay, Juan. Yes, with uh, Jacqueline, we practice. Yeah. Okay, let's go. 
Okay, so Jessica, what does your company do? A red white person clothed for cakes. I see. And what is red snow for? Red, red is known for to modern de design and so, to quality of, of to clothes we make. We make. We make. Great. And are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh -huh. Rex, I re recognize. Recognize as very prestigious company. Their personal is important for them. Good. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. Rex is right. Is one of the the most prestigious company in El Salvador. Okay, very good. Thank you to you both. You did it excellent. Now, who's next? Who wants to be next, guys? ¿Qué me falta? Graciela. I guess you haven't participated. Mm -hmm. Who were you working with? With Evelyn and Maritza. Okay, very good. Let's go. So I want to listen Maritza and Evelyn and then Evelyn with you, Graciela, okay? Just to finish okay. with that. Okay, Maritza, let's go with Evelyn. So Jessica, what does your company do? I dress the produce cloth for kids. I see. And what is trade no for? Red is red is known for the modern design and the quality of the cloth we make. Great. And are you happy to work for Red? Absolutely. Red is recording. Recognized. As recognized as, re as a very prestigious company. Their personal is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Okay, very good. So thank you, Maritza. Now, Evelyn, let's finish the practice with Graciela. Evelyn? Okay. Yeah, let's start. So, Jessica, what does your company do? Yes. At Rex, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is Rex known for? Rex is known for the modern designs in the quality of the clothes we make. Great. Um, are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personnel is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You are right. Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, Evelyn and Graciela, and as well as Maritza. Good. I think you were uh, the last participants. Creo que ustedes eran el último grupo de participar. Alguien más se me quedó, guys. Alguien que no me haya participado. Anyone wants to participate? Nobody? Okay. All right, guys. By tomorrow, we're going to finish the activity that is on the next page this one related to the passive voice okay mañana lo vamos a hacer a modo de retroalimentación como un feedback que vamos a tener right para igual tratar siempre de tener presente el tema okay and uh, that way we can we can uh, start up right with that so that's going to be everything for tonight, guys. I'm going to pass the attendance list, all right, before we leave. Give me one second. 
All right, Adi Beatriz, so Adi was not here. Uh, Ana Cristina. Present teacher. Ah, okay. Give me one second, what happened here? Ah, okay, good. So, Brian Aldair. Ah, oh, Brian left. Carlos Antonio. Okay, ahora ningún Carlos se conectó. That was weird. Carlos Enrique. No, neither Carlos Enrique. Oh my God. What happened with this Carlos? Claudia Marcela. Present. Ah, okay, good. Doris Alejandra. Present. Okay, good. Uh, Evelyn Karina. Present. Okay. Graciela Saray. Present. Nice. Guillermo Eduardo. Present. Okay, good. Uh, by the way, antes que se me vaya a uh, ir. Jesus Christ. So, uh, yesterday I was with Ana. Now, le tocaba a Brian, pero Brian, por motivos personales, bueno, tuvo una emergencia y se tuvo que retirar. Carlos, los dos Carlos no están. Claudia, Marcela. Claudia, are you there? No se me ha ido. Oye, se me fue. Ah, no, he's there. Ok. Ahora se va a quedar conmigo, ok, en The Ten Minutes Feedback. Sorry, okay. Claudia. Ok, good. So, let me see, Graciela, Guillermo, Irma del Tránsito. Irma, all right. I think she got, got issues with the internet. Jacqueline, Yvonne. Present teacher. Ok, good. Juan Carlos Fuentes. I am here, teacher. Cool, the only Carlos in here, besides yeah. me, of course. Ok, good. Katia Maria. Present. Ok. Kenia Marisela. Kenia, Kenia, Kenia. I think Kenia is not here. Give me one second, guys. Ana, Brian, Irma. Tu, 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 Susana, Katia, Irma. Ok, so she's not here. Zero. Maritza Elizabeth. Present. Ok. Marvin Alexander. Present. Ok, excellent. Pedro Rigoberto. ¿Es Pedro? I think Pedro had issues, pero se había conectado. Uh, Rosalie Ivonne. Present. Ok, good. Susana Carolina. Susana. Ok, so she is not here. And the last one, Teresa Noemi. Present teacher. Ok, good. So, thank you for getting connected, guys. All right, to this video conference. Los espero mañana en la siguiente, ok? I hope you have a wonderful night, guys. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, guys. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Okay, good. So, mm -mm -mm. this is, uh, I'm going to put it here in a waiting room. Okay, good. So, Claudia, this time is just, uh, as you know, this is time for us to clarify any question, any doubt, any you know, like 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 something else that you want to add related to the class that we have discussed today and the previous classes i don't know if you have any question with the platform of something eh, no realmente no teacher las clases anteriores por motivos de trabajo no había estado presente uh -huh. pero ya espero que estos días sí puedan seguir porque me ha tocado un poco pesado, pero espero seguir. La verdad es de que no tengo mayor duda ni nada por el estilo. La verdad es de que eh, solo como comentario de que sí, ahora es como más, eh, ¿cómo se puede decir? Como más 
motivante meterse a las clases porque son un poco más dinámicas a lo que estábamos acostumbrados o teníamos en el, en el módulo pasado. Entonces, ¿En serio? eran como... Sí. Ajá, entonces era como bien ahí, bien, como bien tedioso a la, a la vez, pero uh, la verdad es que me gusta como su forma de, de, de dar la clase y que es bien dinámica y que se le entiende y se toma el tiempo de, de explicar y todo eso. Así que ah, okay, la verdad es que no hay ningún, ningún comentario, nada más. No, ok, I mean, that's cool, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, the idea is that, la idea es esa, que podamos pues... Eh, hacer un poquito más dinámica la clase, puesto que venimos de trabajar, uh, a lot of you are tired, la mayoría está cansado, entonces, si hacemos una clase así como bien técnica, bien así, como bien tough, como que Ajá. me van a dormir, entonces. Ya, yeah, yeah, no vamos a dormir. Exactly, and the idea is like for you to participate, to get included, right, y no estar ahí like, mm -hmm. boring <laughs> in the class. Ok, cool. Sí. All right, no, y siempre recuerde que cuando tenga alguna duda, por mínima que sea, no duden en encender el micrófono y preguntar, ¿ok? The idea is, okay. like, la idea es irnos sin ningún tipo de, de dudas, all right, cuando la clase termine, all right? Ok, thank okay. you. Ok, very good. Entonces, si no hay nada más que agregar, Claudia, la dejo descansar porque debe de estar okay. bastante cansada. Nos vemos mañana, ¿ok? Bye, bye. Okay, bye, bye. See you tomorrow. All right, so basically, uh, the class, tonight's class was very interesting. The topic that we were discussing, guys, it was passive voice, right? Remember that when you use passive voice, all right, the main structure has to be with the verb, the main verb in past participle, and you have also to include the verb to be. All right, so now the kind of passive voice that we were doing, it was focused on simple present. So you use the forms of the verb to be in simple present, all right? And basically we use two of them, is and are. Remember, if the action is in singular, so in that case, you use is. If the action is in plural, so in that case, you use are, right? So that's the way how we use it and remember we use passive voice to emphasize the action right not the subject who does the action it has to be the action right itself right for example if i say um what the thief steals money right el ladrón roba dinero the all right thief steals money so recuerden in the active voice basically what we are doing or what we are emphasizing is who makes the action right but in this case in the passive voice we have to focus or emphasize more the action and not the person who makes the action Right? For example, if I say in the active voice, the thief steals money, right? So I am going to say in the passive voice, money is. Why money is? Because the word money is singular. Okay? So that's why I use is. So I can say money is, and now I need the verb still in past participle and that verb is stolen so i can say the thief listen up money is stolen by the thief right ah el dinero es robado por el ladrón so that's the way how we create this uh, structure so by tomorrow we will continue with this structure right we're gonna do a series of activities that we uh, left behind all right and let's see you guys in another video conference bye bye